1. Let me tell you about this sweet 1977 Chevrolet Corvette that's up for grabs on Craigslist right now. This beauty is sitting pretty in Dallas, Texas, with a price tag of 9,195s, a steal for a classic vet if you ask me. Now, I gotta be real with you guys. This isn't a showroom perfect car, but it's definitely a driver that's ready to hit the road and turn some heads. The seller's been busy giving this bad boy some serious TLC. We're talking new suspension, brakes, digital gauges, carpet, BFG radial TAs, and fresh wheels. The odometer's showing just 5,000 miles, but let's be honest, that's probably rolled over. Still, with all the new parts, you're getting a car that's ready to cruise, not one that'll keep you stuck in the garage. The paint job's described as driver quality, so it's not perfect, but hey, it'll still shine under the Texas sun. One of the coolest features? Those pop-up headlights still work like a charm. And don't forget about those T-tops, perfect for feeling the wind in your hair on those summer nights. Now, I gotta mention, the AC's complete, but not working. But come on, with those T-tops, who needs AC, right? The seller says it runs, drives, and stops great, which is what really matters in a classic like this. So, if you're looking for a fun weekend cruiser with some serious vintage vibes, this 77 Corvette might just be your ticket to Coolsville. Just remember, it's cash only and no trades. But for 10 grand, you're getting a piece of American muscle car history that's ready to roll, too. We're taking a look at a real piece of American automotive history, a 1964 Ford Galaxy 500 that's currently up for grabs on Craigslist for $10,000 OBO. Now let me be straight with you folks. This isn't a car you're going to hop in and cruise down to the local car show this weekend, but it's got potential written all over it. This Galaxy is sporting its original 390 V8 engine and floor shift automatic transmission, all matching numbers, which is a big deal for you purists out there. The seller's even got the original owner's manual tucked away in the glove box, which is a nice touch for authenticity. Now, I've got to be honest with you, this old girl has seen better days. The paint is described as weathered, which in classic car speak usually means it's seen its fair share of sun and probably a few rainstorms. But here's the good news. The body is said to be in good condition and all the trim is present. That's a solid starting point for a restoration project. The seller recently fitted a new starter and they've got video proof of the engine running, which is always reassuring. They managed to move it a short distance back and forth, so we know the transmission's at least partially functional. Here's the kicker though, and I want to be crystal clear about this. The car currently has no brakes. That's right, folks. No stopping power whatsoever. So, if you're thinking about bidding, factor in the cost of a complete brake job at the very least. The odometer shows 63,507 miles, but as with any classic of this age, Take that with a grain of salt. It could have rolled over once or twice in its lifetime. So what we've got here is a numbers matching 64 Galaxy 500 with a running engine, a weathered exterior, and no brakes. It's not a turnkey classic, but for the right person with the skills and patience for a restoration project, this could be the start of something beautiful. Remember they're asking $10,000, but are open to offers. If you're serious about American classics, and aren't afraid of a challenge, this might just be the project for you. Just make sure you've got a trailer ready. This one's not driving home under its own power anytime soon. 3. We're diving into a real gem from the post-war era, a 1949 Dodge Coronet that's currently up for grabs on Craigslist for $7,000. Let me tell you, this little beauty is like a time capsule on wheels. Now, I've got to be straight with you folks. This isn't a perfectly restored show car, but it's got charm for days and a whole lot of potential. The seller describes it as cute as a button, and I've got to say I agree. This Coronet is rocking its original condition with some key improvements. Under the hood, you've got a rebuilt Flathead 6. That's 230 cubic inches of pure 1940s engineering. They've added a new carburetor and starter, and here's a big plus. It's been converted from 6 volt to 12 volt, which makes it a lot more reliable for modern driving. The odometer shows 84,000 miles and the seller claims these are original. Given the overall condition, that might just be true. They say it runs great, which is always music to a classic car lover's ears. 
Now, let's talk about the body and interior. The car has been repainted in its original white at some point, so it's got a clean look. Inside, you're in for a treat. The front and back seats, door panels, and carpet have all been recovered. The headliner is still original and in good condition. That's pretty rare for a car of this age. One of the coolest features is the three-speed gyromatic transmission with overdrive. That's a neat piece of Dodge history right there. And here's some more good news. It's got new tires all around, including the spare. Is it perfect? No, but that's part of its charm. This Coronet is a driver, something you can hop in, cruise around town, and turn heads wherever you go. The seller says you can take it to the next level or enjoy it as is, and I think that's spot on. For $7,000, you're getting a piece of automotive history that's ready to roll. Whether you want to keep it as a cool weekend cruiser or use it as a base for a full restoration, this 49 Dodge Coronet has got potential written all over it. 4. We're checking out a real piece of American luxury, a 1967 Buick Riviera that's currently up for grabs on Craigslist for $9,000 or best offer. Now let me be straight with you folks. This isn't a perfect show car, but it's got potential written all over it. This Riviera is sporting a fresh paint job, which is always a big plus for a car of this vintage. The seller doesn't mention the color, but Rivieras of this era look stunning in just about any shade. Under the hood, you've got the classic Buick V8 paired with an automatic transmission sending power to the rear wheels, just as nature intended for a big American cruiser. Now I've got to be honest with you, this car isn't without its issues. The seller mentions that the carburetor needs a gasket replacement. That's not a huge job, but it's something you'll want to take care of pretty quickly to keep this beauty running smoothly. Also, there's a cracked windshield that'll need replacing. Again, not a deal breaker, but definitely something to factor into your budget. The odometer shows 74,000 miles, but as with any classic of this age, take that with a grain of salt. It could have rolled over once in its lifetime. The seller describes it as a nice car, but admits they just don't have the time for it anymore. That's often code for, it needs some TLC, so be prepared to put in a bit of work if you want to bring this Riviera back to its former glory. So, what we've got here is a 67 Riviera with fresh paint, a running V8, though it needs some carb work, and a cracked windshield. It's not a turnkey classic, but for the right person with some mechanical skills and a love for these stylish Buicks, this could be a great project. Remember, they're asking $9,000 but are open to offers. If you're serious about 60s American luxury and aren't afraid of a little wrenching, this might just be the car for you. Just make sure you've got a good mechanic on speed dial. This old girl might need some attention to get her purring like she should. 5. We're taking a look at a true American icon, a 1976 Chevrolet El Camino that's currently up for grabs on Craigslist for $6,800. Now let me be straight with you folks. This isn't your perfectly restored show car, but it's got that unmistakable El Camino charm that's hard to resist. This 76 El Camino is proudly wearing its original threads, which is pretty impressive for a car that's pushing 50 years old. The seller claims it's all original, and with 142,736 miles on the clock, that's a testament to the durability of these old Chevys. Now, I've got to be honest. At this age and mileage, all original often means needs some love. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about making an offer. Under the hood, you've got the classic 350 cubic inch V8 engine. The seller doesn't mention its condition, but these engines are known for their reliability and are relatively easy to work on if it needs some attention. The transmission is automatic, which is great for cruising, and it's got a clean title. Always a plus when you're dealing with classics. Now I've got to level with you. The seller's description is pretty sparse. They don't mention anything about the condition of the body, interior, or how well it runs. That's often a sign that this El Camino might need some TLC in various areas. But hey, that's part of the charm of owning a classic, right? At $6,800, you're not breaking the bank for a piece of automotive history. The El Camino is a unique blend of car and truck that's got a dedicated following, and this 76 model represents the last few years of the classic design before the downsized versions hit in 78. 
So, what we've got here is an all-original 1976 El Camino with the 350V8 automatic transmission and a bit of mystery about its overall condition. It's not going to be winning any Concours events anytime soon, but for the right person, this could be a fun weekend cruiser or a great starting point for a restoration project. Remember, with classics like this, it's always a good idea to see it in person and maybe bring along a mechanic friend before you make a decision. 6. We're checking out a real gem, a 1977 Chevrolet Malibu that's currently up for grabs on Craigslist for $12,000. Now let me tell you, this isn't your average 77 Malibu. This one's got some serious potential. First off, let's talk about those miles. The seller claims it's got just 36,100 original miles on the clock. That's incredibly low for a car of this age, and if it's true, that's a big selling point right there. Under the hood, you've got the 305 V8 with a two-barrel carb. It's not the most powerful engine Chevy offered, but it's reliable and gives you that classic V8 rumble. Now, I've got to be honest with you folks, this car isn't perfect, but it's pretty darn close for a 46-year-old vehicle. The seller's been upfront about a few issues. There's a leaking Schrader valve on the high-pressure side of the AC system, and the fuel gauge is acting up. These are relatively minor issues that shouldn't scare away a serious buyer. The body's looking sharp in Firethorn red and white, a repaint job done before the current owner bought it in 2018. There is a bit of surface rust mentioned on the rear right quarter panel, but that's not uncommon for cars of this era. Inside, you've got a vinyl interior that matches the exterior colors. The car is loaded with power steering, power brakes, and an AM-FM radio. Plus, it's still got its original catalytic converter. That's pretty rare these days. One of the coolest things about this Malibu is that it comes with its original warranty book, build sheet, and dealer ordering guide. That's a gold mine of information for any classic car enthusiast. So, what we've got here is a low mileage 77 Malibu with mostly original equipment, a fresh paint job, and just a couple of minor issues to sort out. At $12,000, it's not the cheapest Malibu out there, but considering its condition and low miles, it could be a great buy for the right person. Remember folks, always inspect a classic in person before making a decision. But if you're in the market for a sweet 70s cruiser that'll turn heads at car shows and on the street, this Malibu might just be your ticket to classic car heaven. 7. We're diving into a true piece of American luxury, a 1969 Lincoln Continental that's currently up for grabs on Craigslist for $15,000 OBO. Now let me tell you, this isn't just any old land yacht. This is a slice of automotive history with those iconic suicide doors. First things first, the seller's description is pretty sparse, so we're going to have to read between the lines a bit here. They say it runs, which is always a good start, but they don't give us much more information than that. So, let's be real. At this price point and with this level of description, you're probably looking at a project car rather than a fully restored beauty. The odometer shows 90,000 miles, which for a car of this vintage could be original or could have rolled over once. It's hard to say without more info. Under the hood, you've got a V8 engine, these Continentals typically came with a 460 cubic inch behemoth that could move this massive car with surprising authority. Now here's something interesting. The seller lists the transmission as manual. That's pretty unusual for a Continental of this era, as they typically came with automatics. It could be a mistake in the listing, or it could be a rare find. Either way, it's something you'd want to verify in person. The condition is listed as good, but without photos or more details, it's hard to know exactly what that means. In the classic car world, good can mean anything from needs a little TLC to runs but needs a full restoration. But let's talk about what makes this car special, those suicide doors. They're a hallmark of the fourth generation Continental and they never fail to draw attention. It's a feature that screams 1960s cool and makes this car stand out in any crowd. At $15,000 OBO, this Continental could be a great entry point into classic luxury car ownership, especially if you're handy with a wrench. These cars, when fully restored, can command much higher prices, so there's potential for appreciation if you're willing to put in the work. Remember folks, 
With a car like this, it's crucial to see it in person before making any decisions. Check for rust, test all the electrical systems, and make sure those suicide doors open and close smoothly. 8. Let me tell you about this awesome 1984 Ford Bronco 2 that's up for grabs on Craigslist right now. This little beast is priced at $8,700, and honestly, it's a pretty sweet deal for what you're getting. This Bronco 2 is the XLT trim, rocking two doors, and that classic SUV style we all love. It's got a clean title and only 64,766 miles on the clock. That's practically nothing for a vehicle pushing 40 years old. Under the hood, you've got a 2.8L V6 engine paired with a manual transmission, perfect for those who love to really feel connected to their ride. And of course, it's got that sweet four-wheel drive for all your off-road adventures. The seller says it's in good condition, and they've done some recent work to keep it running smooth. We're talking a new fuel tank and pump, plus they've kept the original carburetor. They claim it runs well, which is always great to hear for a vehicle of this vintage. Now let's talk about that body. It's straight and dent-free, which is pretty impressive for its age. The current paint job is black, but the seller mentions it's perfect for a project. So whether you want to keep it vintage, go for a cool matte black look, or restore it to its original glory, the choice is yours. Look, I gotta be honest with you. While this Bronco 2 sounds like it's in pretty good shape, any vehicle from 1984 is going to need some TLC. But that's part of the fun, right? It's a chance to own a piece of automotive history and make it your own. So, if you're in the market for a classic 4A4 with tons of potential, this 1984 Ford Bronco 2 might just be the ticket. It's a solid starting point for a project or a cool daily driver with some vintage flair. Just remember, it's OBO, so you might even be able to snag it for a bit less. 9. We're checking out a real American muscle classic, a 1979 Chevrolet Camaro that's currently up for grabs at $12,500. This isn't your average Camaro, folks. It's been given some serious attention under the hood and beyond. Let's start with the heart of this beast, a 454 cubic inch good wrench four bolt main engine. That's some serious displacement, and it's been paired with a built turbo 350 transmission. The seller claims only 1,000 miles since the build, so this powertrain is practically fresh. The list of performance upgrades is impressive. Hooker headers, pipes X pipe exhaust, YN Street Warrior intake, and a Holly Avenger 870 carb. There's also a comp cam, high output fuel pump, and a mini high torque starter. They've even added frame connectors and rubber frame mounts for better rigidity and comfort. The rear end is sporting a Dana Posey with 3.73 gears, supported by heavy duty leaf springs. Braking has been addressed with a new master cylinder, brake lines and, well, brakes. An aluminum radiator keeps things cool, but interestingly, there's no heater. So maybe not the best choice for cold climates. Now, I've got to be straight with you. While the mechanical work sounds top-notch, the seller admits the interior needs finishing. They're also calling the paint driver quality, which usually means it looks okay from 10 feet away. But don't expect a show car finish. The odometer shows 10,000 miles, but with all these mods, that's likely since the rebuild. This Camaro sounds like it's set up to be a real street beast, but it might need a bit more love to be truly complete. If you're looking for a project that's mechanically sorted but needs some cosmetic attention, this could be your ticket to muscle car heaven. Remember, it's always wise to see a car in person before making a decision. And don't be afraid to negotiate. You might be able to knock a bit off that $12,500 asking price. 10. We're taking a look at a true American classic, a 1984 Chevrolet Caprice classic that's currently up for grabs at $6,000. This big, comfortable cruiser is a slice of automotive nostalgia that's sure to turn some heads. First things first, let's talk about that odometer reading. The seller claims it's sitting at just 34,112 miles, which is incredibly low for a car that's pushing 40 years old. If that's accurate, it means this Caprice has been seriously babied over the years. However, always take low mileage claims with a grain of salt. It's worth verifying in person. The Caprice is decked out in a brown color, which was a popular choice back in the day. It's rocking that classic boxy 80s styling that's been making a comeback in the collector world recently. 
With its clean title and automatic transmission, it could make for a smooth, easy-to-drive classic. Now I've got to be straight with you folks. The seller's description is pretty bare-bones, which leaves a lot of questions unanswered. They claim the condition is good, but without more details or pictures, it's hard to know exactly what that means for a car of this age. It could be a well-preserved gem, or it might need some TLC to bring it back to its former glory. These old Caprices are known for their smooth ride and spacious interiors, making them great for cruising. However, they're not exactly fuel sippers, so keep that in mind if you're considering this as a daily driver. At $6,000, it's priced in the ballpark for a well-maintained Caprice of this era, but again, without more information, it's hard to say if it's a deal or not. If you're interested, I'd highly recommend seeing it in person, checking for any rust issues, especially if it's spent time in a snowy climate, and maybe bringing along a mechanic for a thorough inspection. Remember, with classics like this, you're not just buying a car, you're buying a piece of automotive history. If this brown beauty checks out, it could be a fun project or a cool cruiser to take to car shows. 11. All right, Craigslist car hunters, buckle up because we've got a real muscle car gem for you today. We're talking about a 1971 Plymouth Duster that's currently up for grabs at $15,000. This isn't your grandma's grocery getter, folks. This is a bona fide street beast. Let's dive into what makes this Duster special. The seller's got it equipped with a built small block V8, which means this thing's got some serious punch. It's running solid lifters, which gives it that classic muscle car sound and feel. The 410 Posey rear end with a mini spool means it's putting the power down efficiently, and with a four-speed manual, you're in for engaging driving experience. The performance goodies don't stop there. We've got an M1 intake topped with a Holley 650 double pumper carb, feeding fuel to that hungry V8. The three-inch exhaust probably sounds mean, and the seller confirms it's loud and has a good thump from the cam. They even claim it'll go sideways in the first three gears, so hold on tight. They've addressed some practical matters too. There's a disc brake front end for better stopping power, a heavy-duty aluminum radiator, and electric fans to keep things cool. The odometer shows 100,000 miles, but with a built engine, that number doesn't mean much. Now, let's be real here. The seller admits it's not perfect, but a fun car. It's painted green and has a clean title which is always good to see. But at 50 years old, don't expect a showroom fresh appearance. This is clearly built more for go than for show. At $15,000, you're paying for the performance mods as much as the car itself. If you're looking for a numbers matching pristine duster, this ain't it. But if you want a rowdy tire smoking piece of American muscle that'll turn heads and burn rubber, this could be your ticket to tire shredding heaven. Remember, with any classic car purchase, especially one that's been modified, a thorough inspection is crucial. And hey, if you've got a newer Camaro lying around, the seller might be interested in a trade. 12. We're looking at a 1969 Chevrolet Nova that's currently up for grabs at $7,000. Now, before you get too excited, let's be real about what we're dealing with here. This Nova is definitely a project car, folks. The seller is upfront about its condition describing it as fair, which in the world of classic cars often means needs work. And boy, does this one need some TLC. Let's start with the basics. It's a four-door sedan, which is less common than the sportier two-door versions you usually see. It's packing a straight-six engine with an automatic transmission, and the odometer shows 83,625 miles. But remember, with a car this old, that number could have rolled over once or twice. Now here's where it gets interesting, or challenging depending on your perspective. The seller admits there's rust, and the car needs a paint job and some minor dent work. The interior isn't much better, with rust issues there too and a need for new upholstery. It's only got a rear view mirror and a driver's side mirror so visibility might be an adventure. But wait, there's more. The seller bought it as a project car, but hasn't had time to work on it. The previous owner mentioned it needs a new carburetor and battery to run but our current seller hasn't verified this. They're throwing in an extra carburetor that might work for a rebuild, but they're not sure. Look, I've got to be honest with you. This Nova needs a lot of work. It's not going to be a quick weekend project to get this baby road ready. You're looking at significant body work, 
interior restoration, and potentially some mechanical issues to sort out. That said, if you're handy with a wrench and have a passion for bringing old cars back to life, this could be an interesting project. Four-door Novas from this era are less common, which might make it a unique piece once restored. At $7,000, it's not exactly cheap for a non-running project car. But the seller is open to offers, so there might be some wiggle room there. Remember folks, with any project car, especially one in this condition, it's crucial to inspect it thoroughly in person before making a decision. You might want to bring along a mechanic or a knowledgeable friend to really assess what you're getting into. 13. We're taking a look at a real gem, a 1969 Mercury Cougar XR7 Luxury that's currently up for grabs at $13,500. This classic muscle car is sure to turn some heads, so let's dive into what makes it special. First off, we're dealing with the XR7 Luxury Trim, which was the top-of-the-line model for the Cougar in 69. Under the hood, you'll find a V8 351 engine, pumping out a respectable 290 horsepower. That's plenty of muscle to get this cat purring down the road. Now, what really catches my eye about this particular Cougar is all the work that's been done to it. The seller claims it's sporting a new paint job in blue, which should really make this classic pop. They've also redone the interior, so you can cruise in style and comfort. New tires will keep you gripping the road, and those fresh chrome bumpers will add that extra bit of shine. One thing that often plagues classic cars is fuel system issues, but the seller's taken care of that with a new gas tank. That's a nice touch that should give the new owner some peace of mind. The car comes with a clean title, and it's only had two owners, which is pretty impressive for a vehicle over 50 years old. It's equipped with an automatic transmission, making it an easy driver for those who might be intimidated by a manual in a classic muscle car. Now I've got to be straight with you folks. While the seller describes the condition as good and has clearly put some work into it, remember that this is still a 50-year-old car. Even with all the new parts, there's bound to be some quirks and potential issues that come with age. It's always a good idea to inspect a classic car thoroughly or have a mechanic look it over before making a purchase. At $13,500, it's priced in the ballpark for a well-maintained Cougar of this era, especially considering the recent work that's been done. However, prices can vary widely based on originality, documentation, and overall condition. So there you have it, Craigslist car lovers. This 69 Cougar XR7 Luxury looks like a sweet ride that's had some serious TLC. If you're in the market for a classic muscle car that's ready to hit the road and turn some heads, this might just be the cat for you. 14. We're diving into a real gem from the era of land yachts, a 1980 Buick Riviera that's up for grabs at $8,500. This isn't just any old Riviera, folks. This one's been pampered and prepped to perfection. Let's start with the basics. We're looking at a coupe with a 5.7-liter, 350-cubic-inch V8 engine, paired with a smooth, automatic transmission. It's got 103,000 miles on the clock, which isn't bad at all for a 40-year-old beauty like this. And get this, it's front-wheel drive, which was pretty cutting-edge for a big American luxury car back in 1980. Now let's talk about what makes this Riviera special. The seller has gone above and beyond to get this car in tip-top shape. We're talking new tires, new headliner, new suspension components, new brakes. The list goes on and on. They've even tackled some of those annoying age-related issues like replacing hood and trunk struts and servicing the power seats and windows. The AC's been overhauled with a new compressor and accumulator, so you'll be cruising in cool comfort. They've also done a bunch of maintenance work like fluid flushes, new spark plugs, and carburetor adjustments. This is the kind of attention to detail that can make all the difference in a classic car. Aesthetically, this Riv is stunning in black with auburn leather seats. The seller claims there's no rust, always music to a classic car lover's ears, and that it's been stored during winters. The original paint still has a nice luster, and the interior sounds like it's in great shape with no cracks in the dash and nice leather and carpets. Now. I've got to be straight with you. While this Riviera sounds like it's in excellent condition, remember that it's still a 40-year-old car. 
Even with all this work, there might be quirks or issues that pop up. That's just the nature of classic car ownership. At $8,500, it's not the cheapest Riviera out there. But the seller makes a good point. You're paying for all the work that's been done. This isn't a project car. It's a turnkey classic that's ready to hit the road. 15. We're looking at a real-time capsule. A 1985 Chrysler LeBaron convertible that's currently up for grabs at $9,000. Now, I know what you might be thinking. A Lee Baron, but hold on to your hats, because this one's a bit special. First off, let's talk about the condition. The seller claims this LeBaron is in like-new condition, and with only 39,568 original miles on the clock, it just might be. That's incredibly low mileage for a car that's pushing 40 years old. The seller says they're only the second owner, and have kept it stored, barely driving it. That's the kind of provenance that classic car collectors dream about. Now let's get into the juicy details. This isn't just any LeBaron. It's a turbocharged convertible. That's right, folks. We've got forced induction in this 80s cruiser. It's decked out in a flashy red exterior with a white leather interior, which is about as 80s as you can get without a neon jumpsuit and a Walkman. The seller mentions it comes with all the original paperwork and manuals, which is a huge plus for collectors and enthusiasts. They also stress that you need to see it to appreciate it, which is often true for well-preserved classics like this. Now, I've got to be straight with you. While this LeBaron sounds like it's in fantastic condition, remember that we're dealing with 1980s Chrysler technology here. Even a perfectly preserved example might have some quirks or reliability issues simply due to its age and the technology of the time. The turbo system in particular might need some attention if it hasn't been used much over the years. At $9,000, it's priced at the higher end for LeBarons of this era. However, if it's truly in like-new condition with such low mileage, it could be worth it for the right buyer. These cars have a cult following, partly thanks to their association with the movie Planes, Trains and Automobiles. So there you have it, Craigslist car lovers. This 1985 Chrysler LeBaron convertible is a blast from the past that seems to have been preserved in amber. If you're looking for a pristine example of 80s American convertible luxury with a turbo twist, this could be your ticket to radness. Just remember to give it a thorough inspection and maybe a test drive before you commit. 16. All right, let's dive deeper into this classic cruiser. The 1977 Plymouth Grand Fury Brougham is a true time capsule, folks. Picture yourself behind that wide, thin steering wheel, sitting on plush bench seats that feel more like your living room sofa. This car is all about that 70s excess. It's big, it's bold, and it doesn't apologize for it. Now, $6,500 might seem like a chunk of change, but for a well-preserved piece of automotive history, it's not too shabby. Think about it. Where else are you going to find a car with character like this? Those square headlights, that long hood, and the vinyl roof, if it's still intact, all scream disco era cool. Let's talk about that 318 cubic inch V8 engine, assuming it's the standard engine. It's not going to win you any drag races, but it'll give you that smooth, effortless power that these old boats are known for. And with only 50 ton 500 miles, this engine's probably got plenty of life left in it. But let's be real for a second. Owning a car like this isn't always going to be a walk in the park. Parts might be tricky to find, and you'll probably want to befriend a mechanic who knows their way around carburetors. The fuel economy? Well, let's just say you'll be on a first-name basis with your local gas station attendant. However, the joy of cruising in a piece of American automotive history like this Grand Fury can't be overstated. You'll be turning heads and starting conversations everywhere you go. Plus, with its good condition status, you're not walking into a total restoration project. Remember, this is a survivor. It's lived through disco, hair metal, grunge, and whatever we're calling today's music. It's got stories to tell, and now you've got the chance to add your chapter to its history. So if you've got a passion for preserving the past and aren't afraid of a little old-school American engineering, this 77 Grand Fury Brougham could be your ticket to cool. Just be prepared for the occasional, is that a cop car, question. These big Plymouths do have that authoritative presence. 17. 
We're checking out a sweet little piece of Dodge history, a 1968 Dart that's up for grabs on Craigslist for $10,000. Now let me tell you, this isn't your average Dart. This baby is clean, unmolested, and solid, according to the seller, and I'm inclined to believe them. First off, we're talking about a car with some serious documentation. Two build sheets, a fender tag, CERTA card, owner's manual, and even the original sales documents. That's a car guy's dream right there. And get this, it was originally woman-owned, and you'll even get a copy of Chrysler's Women on Wheels with the car. How cool is that? Now, under the hood, you've got the trusty Slant 6 paired with an automatic transmission. It's not going to set the world on fire, but these engines are known for their reliability. But here's where it gets interesting. For an extra $2,500, the seller's offering a 340 V8 with a four-speed manual that was pulled from a CUDA. The clutch pedal's already installed, so you're halfway there if you want to go the hot rod route. The body's sporting an older repaint in the original red, and the interior looks pretty sharp with some new carpet and a redone rear seat. You'll even get new legendary seat covers and foam for the front bench. That's a nice bonus. Now, I've got to be honest. There are a couple of pinholes in the trunk, but for a 55-year-old car, that's not bad at all. The seller says it's very solid and rust-free otherwise. The best part? This Dart isn't just a pretty face. The gauges work, the lights work, and it runs, drives, and stops great. With 95,000 miles on the clock and a clean title, you're looking at a well-preserved piece of Mopar history that you can actually drive and enjoy. So if you're in the market for a classic Mopar that's ready to cruise as is, or could be the start of an awesome project, this 68 Dart could be just the ticket. It's got the documentation to back up its history and the potential to be whatever you want it to be. At $10,000, it's not exactly cheap, but for a solid, well-documented classic like this, it could be a pretty good deal. Just imagine the looks you'll get rolling down the street in this little red beauty. 18. We're diving into a real gem on Craigslist, a 1963 Chevrolet Biscayne that's up for grabs at $15,000. Now let me tell you, this isn't your average 63 Biscayne. We're talking about a car that's been lovingly cared for by the same owner for a whopping 45 years. That's almost half a century of dedicated ownership, folks. This green beauty is rocking its original paint, glass, and seats. And get this, not a single crack in sight. That's practically unheard of for a car pushing 60 years old. With 125,000 miles on the clock, this Biscayne has seen its fair share of road, but it's been treated like royalty, always tucked away in a garage when not cruising the streets. Under the hood, we've got the trusty inline six cylinder engine. It might not be the powerhouse V8 some folks crave, but these straight sixes are known for their reliability and smooth operation. Paired with a manual transmission, you're getting a true, engaging classic car experience every time you hit the road. Now, $15,000 might seem like a chunk of change, but for a Biscayne in this condition, it's actually pretty reasonable. We're talking about a car that the seller describes as in excellent condition, and given the details provided, I'm inclined to believe them. Clean title, original everything, and nearly five decades of careful ownership. That's the stuff classic car dreams are made of. The Biscayne might not have the flash of an Impala or the muscle of a Chevelle, but it's got a charm all its own. It's a slice of everyday Americana, a reminder of a time when cars were simpler, built to last, and had style for days. Imagine cruising down Main Street in this green machine, bench seat, manual gearbox and all. That's pure, unadulterated classic car bliss right there. So, if you're in the market for a well-preserved piece of Chevy history that you can actually drive and enjoy without fear of depreciation, this 63 Biscayne could be just the ticket. It's not often you find a classic in this condition with such a long history of careful ownership. Whether you're a die-hard Chevy fan or just someone who appreciates a beautifully maintained piece of automotive history, this Biscayne is definitely worth a look. Just be prepared for the waves, thumbs up, and what year is that? Questions every time you take it out. 19. All right, classic Ford fans, gather round. We've got a real interesting piece here, a 1965 Ford Ranchero that's been given a serious heart transplant. 
this bad boy is up for grabs on Craigslist for $5,500. And let me tell you, it's a bit of a Frankenstein's monster in the best possible way. Now don't let the 1965 body fool you. Under the hood, this ranchero is packing some serious 80s muscle. We're talking about a 1984-1986 Ford Mustang 5.0 liter HO, high output engine. That's right, this classic ute is rocking Fox body power. The seller says it runs really good and could even be a daily driver. They've done some work to keep it running smooth with a new starter, new coil, and an electronic choke. They've even slapped in a new radiator to keep that 5.0 cool. But let's keep it real. This ranchero isn't without its quirks. The gas gauge is taking a permanent vacation, needs some instrument voltage regulators, and you'll be building those arm muscles with no power steering. On the plus side, you've got disc brakes, which is a nice upgrade for a 65. Now, I've got to be straight with you. There's rust. The seller's up front about it and says to check the pictures. With 133,146 miles on the clock, some rust isn't surprising, but it's something to factor into your plans. One cool feature is the three-speed manual transmission on the floor. That'll make for some fun driving, especially paired with that Mustang V8. So what we've got here is a unique blend of 60s style with 80s muscle. It's not a showroom perfect restoration, but at $5,500, it could be a killer project car or a fun weekend cruiser. Just imagine pulling up to cars and coffee in this beast. You'll have Ford fans from multiple decades drooling. If you're looking for something different, something that'll turn heads and spark conversations, this ranchero might just be your ticket. Just be prepared for some wrenching, a bit of rust repair, and explaining to people why your 65 ranchero sounds suspiciously like a fox body Mustang. 20. We're diving into a real gem on Craigslist, a 1966 Lincoln Continental that's up for grabs at $12,500. Now let me tell you, this isn't just any old Lincoln. We're talking about a two-owner beauty that's been in the same family since 1981. This white stunner is a true piece of American luxury history. With its iconic suicide doors and that long, sleek profile, it's the kind of car that turns heads wherever it goes. Under the hood, you've got that classic V8 power, paired with an automatic transmission for smooth cruising. Now, let's get real for a second. The seller's being upfront about a few things. The odometer shows 10,285 miles, but it's likely rolled over once, so we're probably looking at 110,285 miles. That's not bad for a 57-year-old car, especially one that's been well-maintained. The car's been sitting for about six months, but here's the good news. It fired right up when they tried to start it recently. There's a slight miss at idle, so it probably needs a tune-up, but that's pretty minor in the grand scheme of things. What's really cool about this Continental is its history. The seller's father-in-law bought it from the original owner who was a close family friend. That kind of provenance is hard to come by these days. Now, $12,500 might seem like a chunk of change, but for a 66 Continental in very good shape, it's actually pretty reasonable. These cars are only going up in value, and finding one with such a clear history is rare. Sure, it might need a bit of TLC to get it purring perfectly, but imagine cruising down Main Street in this land yacht, suicide doors and all. You'd be the king of the road. So, if you're in the market for a classic piece of American luxury, this 66 Continental could be your ticket to cool. It's got the style, the history, and the potential to be an absolute showstopper. Just be prepared for frequent trips to the gas station. These big V8s aren't exactly known for their fuel efficiency, but hey, that's the price of vintage cool, right?